me. Before I get in this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I post Adopt Me, Overlook Me, and Twitter videos every single day except Tuesday. Today, I am going to be showing you guys the fastest ways to make a hundred thousand gems in Overlook Bay. Now, I know you guys were requesting this because as you can see at the top corner right here, I have over a hundred thousand gems and you guys wanted for me to tell you my tricks. Now, before I get into it, this is actually a very large process. It takes a lot of time, but I'm here to tell you how to do it a little bit quicker. And so the first thing that I do is that I actually go and take out my ladybug. I have a shiny ladybug, which gives me plus two fruit whenever I farm fruit trees. So if you have a ladybug, you're going to want to take this out because this could be a life changer while doing fruit trees, collecting fruit, because it could give you that one extra fruit. And I get like two extra jelly be beans. That's like a hundred extra gems and you definitely won't want to be missing out on that 100 extra gems. So the first thing that I definitely do recommend is take out your ladybug if you have one. If you don't have one, that's okay. And go in your backyard, collect your fruit trees, and also go all around the map in the city. There is no fruit trees in Arcadia's Isle, but in the normal town of Overlook Bay, there are fruit trees. So make sure to go collect those, even if you don't have a ladybug, and sell them to Clyde Organic. If you don't know where to sell them, then let me show you. So to sell your fruit, you will have to head over to the grocery store. And right here, this little guy named Clyde is actually buying these fruits because they are apparently magical fruit. But you can also shop from him. And my this is my next tip to fill out all the spaces that you can with fruit trees because extra fruit trees that you plant in your backyard will give you extra money. So even if the they are just these apple seeds which only sell for five gems per apple, that's okay. I personally like getting the peach seeds because at the end of the day, they do pay off. Whenever I go around the town now and collect all my fruit with my shiny ladybug out I am guaranteed to get about a thousand gems today I actually got a thousand one hundred gems so that is something that you probably should do the next thing that you probably should do to get one hundred thousand gems is do your pet needs and these pet needs are super important because even if they give little bits at a time then in the long run, you will get a lot of stuff. And also, you will be able to age up your pets to make shinies, rainbow shinies, or whatever else you want to do. And it's really simple. You wait for your pet to have a task, you do the task. Boom! Done! The next thing that I really enjoy doing that helps me out a lot is doing my daily and weekly tasks. Now, weekly tasks are a little bit harder just because they normally consume of a lot of time. But daily tasks sometimes just consist of mining 25 crystals, fishing 25 fish, spinning the paw badge wheel for 100 or 250 paw badges, whatever you like, earning 100 paw badges, which is about doing 20 tasks for your pet and much, much more. These tasks reset every 24 hours. And the only one that I don't like doing is transforming two pets into one shiny pet and for the weekly task is what is it transform four shiny pets into two rainbow shiny pets here's the reason why which leads me to my next point is if you can hold off on making shiny pets unless they will actually help you like the celebration dragon make a shiny make a rainbow shiny of that because that will help you for the ladybug make a rainbow shiny make a shiny for the lady uh, for the what is this called for the mermaid pet? I'm gonna want to make a shiny rainbow shiny whatever because it's gonna benefit me But let's see how many pets I can actually make shiny and the reasons why I don't want to make So I can actually tell all the pets that I can make shiny from going to the pet machine And as you can see I have a lot of pets that I can actually make shiny or rainbow shiny most of them shiny this one i could make rainbow shiny with the help of one more easter corn or whatever but the reason why i don't want to make any of these pets shiny or rainbow shiny or whatever is because the only thing that will benefit me 
is rainbow. And as you can see, I only have one normal celebration dragon. If you're like, see Sharpie, well actually you have this shiny celebration dragon. I'm actually growing this up for a friend. So this is actually not my celebration dragon. So technically I only have one celebration dragon. But this celebration dragon also helps with luck, with fishing, mining, and with wishing. So I'm going to want to pull out my best celebration dragon. Even if I'm borrowing it or even if I'm helping my friend age it up, I'm still going to want to use that better celebration dragon since sour is better than rainbow I'm going to want to use sour and go make my free wish at the wishing well it's okay if you can't make billions of wishes but making that free wish at, off of the wishing well you could get really good stuff like let me show you so if you head to the wishing well which is just actually across this bridge over here i know the painted giraffe leaves soon yeah you will get a free wish every 16 hours now since i have 130 wishes it's okay if i use one wish so we're gonna go make a wish and since i have sour out that will give me times four luck but with a rainbow i'd only have times three which is still super good if you have a normal celebration dragon that's super good but since i actually have sour on me right now i'm going to want to make that wish because she will help me even if she helps me get from 50 gems to 65 gems that is still super good or sour could crush you like this but a bronze pet pod is still super good normally you will get gems but pet pods are still super cool too and the next thing i have for you that could definitely help you is that actually you are going to want to collect these little starfishes seashells or whatever and the reason why you are going to want to do this is because even if you won't sell them immediately they will be in your inventory for you to sell later on and it's okay if you don't sell everything at the moment if you actually keep them you will collect more of them and then make more money but just remember to actually sell them because there's no point of keeping these seashells in your inventory because they actually give you money. And if you never sell them, that's a lot of money that could just be ended up in the dumps. And my next tip is to collect treasure. So many people forget to do this. But you can actually go and collect treasure on the beach. Look at how many things I've got to sell. And this gives me 50 gems a pop. You can make 100 gems from treasure every single day by just digging up the two artifacts that you can find on the beach in Overlook Bay. And it will help you big time. So many people forget to do it. And honestly, it's so helpful. It's a free 100 gems lying right there. So why not just do it because you will be able to make a free 100 gems remember you can only sell these artifacts in the nighttime so make sure to go over to doc mcfly and sell them right in the nighttime right after you get them or else they could be in your inventory for a while and honestly don't get me wrong, I have left these in my inventory for weeks, but it's super, super important that you go sell them because they will give you so, so, so much money. Get those two every single day. It's a free 100 gems lying right there beside you. There's no reason to not to get it, and honestly, it'll help you a bunch. And that is all my tips and tricks today for how to get 100,000 gems faster. Have you forgot to do these things with the new Arcadia's Isle? I know sometimes I have, but they actually really help me. But thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe to my channel because it's free. And I will 
I'll see you guys. What day is it? Tomorrow.